a very good day to all of you today i'm going to focus on the module 5 and uh, today's lecture series is 48 which will focus upon the programming concepts of this lcds i professor prasanna kulkarni working as assistant professor in the department of electronics and uh, communication uh, from kls vdit halyal is presenting this video lecture series the contents which I want to present in the today's lecture series will focus upon the constructional details of LCD devices and their programming. In this today's lecture series, we will be focusing both on assembly level programs as well as the C level programs also. The learning outcomes after learning through this lecture series, the students will have better understanding of the register programming used for LCDs either in assembly level programs or serial programs for various display applications. In my previous lecture series, we have focused upon the constructional details of these LCDs, the types of LCDs available and also the various registers used for LCD programming and also have gone through some basic concepts of how to write the programs, what are the various steps that we need to follow to write the programs for these LCDs. Okay. So I welcome all of you to the today's lecture series to focus upon how to write programs for these LCDs. So to begin with, I have configured that this should have three important steps. When you write any programs to LCDs for 8051, we need to follow the three important steps from this. Okay. The first one is always initialization of LCD. When you write a LCD program, it is first thing that we should always initialize our LCD first of all. And the second step is sending commands to the LCDs. Okay. Once we send commands to the LCD, the third step will be writing the data on LCD. So three important steps. So when you write any programs, maybe in assembly level programs or C level program, I do three important steps. First one is initialization, sending a command and third one is writing data. Okay, so what all steps present in initialization LCDs? Okay, they are already been quoted. The to initialize the LCD to the 8051, the following instructions and commands are to be embedded into the functions. First thing, 0x38 is used for 8-bit data initialization. Suppose you are want to send a 8-bit data because in LCD there are two types of data initializations: 4-bit data initialization and 8-bit data initialization. Nowadays, as we have seen, uh, most of the ASCII characters are of 8-bit in size. Therefore, now uh, for 8-bit data, it has become a, one of the prominent uh, data initialization technique. So, 0x38 is used for sending a command to understand that LCD is capable of sending 8-bit data or it is ready to receive 8-bit data. Second command is 0x0c. It is used for making the LCD display on and cursor in the off position. Similarly, third one, 0x01, it is for clearing the display of the LCD. Suppose anything is displayed on LCD previously, suppose I want to clear this, I need to send a command called as 0x01. And at the lastly, 0x80 is for positioning the cursor at the first line. Suppose you want to display any data from the first line because there are two rows available in LCD. I want to start from the first row, then I should be sending a command 0x80. So, these are the various steps which we follow for initialization of the LCDs. Next one. Next one is to send the commands. Now, how to send the commands to this particular LCDs? Or what all steps that we follow for sending the commands to this? First one. Make this enable pin should be high. That is the first job that we do for commands. RS, zero, RS has to be 0. This register select pin has to be going low for sending the commands. This is what we have discussed in our previous uh, lecture series also. Then placing the data on the data register. Now here uh, the data is nothing but your command which is a value. So if you have understood the previous lecture series, they have listed various commands. So you can place those particular commands and the LCD will react to those commands. Lastly, RW that is read write pin should be low for writing this command value here it is called as data but it is a command value okay this is how we can send command to the lcd that is the second uh, initialization to be done on lcds now the last initialization is that 
writing the data to the LCD. That is our final goal. We want to display something on LCD. Then what is the step that we have to follow? First of all, I have to make enable line as 1. Enable should be made 1. Then if it is already 0, it has to be made high. Then RS has to be made 1. In the previous, we had RS 0, but here I want to make RS as 1 so that I can now send my data outside. I think everybody have understood the meaning of this one. So with uh, this much of data, I think definitely we can now do uh, the programming based on uh, the idea what we have received now, how to send data, how to receive data based on this. Now let us see how to write programs in assembly level codes. Yes, suppose I want to display a word called as hello, okay, on LCD, then what all steps that I need to follow for this one, okay. So let us go line by line to understand this. So I write a program ORG 000H initialization okay now the first line itself is a command okay now by this time you should be perfect about uh, the commands what you have listed in the previous video lecture series if you know the commands understand this what this particular program is going to do for us that is first one move a comma 38 what this will do for us yeah this will create two line matrix or 8 bit data initialization move a comma hash 38 inch okay next i use a function called as a call command a call command so i directly using a subroutine the name of the subroutine is command i am calling that particular subroutine program okay so right now i will not go to this i will finish this uh, uh, various commands and then i will go to the the subroutine program okay but actually in uh, actual execution what will happen after move a comma hash 38 the program will jump from uh, this line to directly the command subroutine program okay that I'll uh, explain in the next slide as it is. First, I'll finish it all the commands which are available because every command will call that subroutine program. Fine. Okay. Second one, move a comma hash zero f. What for this is used? Yeah, think on, think on. What for it is used? Yes. If you have understood, yeah, display on cursor blinking. This is a command which is used for this. Display on and cursor blinking. And again, I call the same subroutine. A call command. Next line, move a comma hash 06. What for it is used there? Shift cursor to the right positions. So you want to display this particular hello word and it should move towards the right side. Then I use this command 06H. So shift the cursor to the right sides. One after the other, it should be shifting to the right side. Okay. So next again call the same subroutine, a call command. Next one move a comma hash 01 h this is used for clear the display screen okay so before i display hello on lcd it should clear the previous content if anything is available it should be cleared that is the meaning of this again call the command the next one last command that we are going to use is move a comma hash ath what for this is used this will force the cursor to begin from the first line okay if you don't put this the cursor may be started from either first or second. So we want to confirm that whatever we want to display should be from the first line. I use this command. So these are the various commands which are used. So based upon the need of the programmer, he has to use these particular commands. So out of them, some are compulsion. Okay, Some of them have to be used. And some of them are optional. Depends upon the choice of the programmer. I think everybody have understood the command of the, this one. How to do commanding of this one okay this is called as initialization okay this is called as initialization of lcd part one of our program what i have discussed everybody have got this okay let us now go to how to make a, a sending of data after this how to make a sending of data then once you have finished all the commands what i'm going to do now move a comma hash i put blank because before i display hello i want to put a space okay now this is about your programming skill how we want to display it next one i call a different program here you can observe this a call a disp previously we had a command now i'm calling a subroutine called as disp okay that also will explain in the next slide fine then move a comma hash h you can observe how i'm writing h here under single quote getting this a call disp similarly i want to display second letter what is the second letter is e so move a comma hash e a call disp Next one, move a comma hash l, a call disp. Similarly, move a comma hash l, a call disp. And last word, move a comma hash zero or o, o, 
work on disk and short jump here this is what i think you have understood suppose number of words that you want to display in assembly level this is how you have to keep on appending the words for that lcd also okay next one now this slide is very important for us this this will cover the actual program uh, whatever that you have written okay so we'll focus on this now under command now we are in the subroutine so whenever you put a command instruction you are jumping to this program actually so what this command will do here what is the subroutine program which is written first of all what it does move p2 comma i so whatever is in accumulator will be copied in p2 register p2 is what here is a port is a port so ultimately you are copying the data to that port because that is having data lines your job is to copy that and where your data lines are connected is port 2 previously i think you have seen that p2.0 to 2.7 are used for data connection so therefore therefore you have to move that data to port 2 because port 2 is connected to my lcd i hope so you have understood okay next one clear 3.5 why 3.5 don't forget the diagram what we have gone through in previous lecture series 3.5 is connected as rs and here i need command so therefore rs has to be zero therefore i have cleared p3.5 next line is clear 3.4 what is 3.4 now rw read write and what it should be it should be zero r should r w should be zero right should be zero therefore i have cleared it clear p3.4 similarly next enable where this enable is connected p3.3 so how to make enable then initially it should be high pulse then it should be low pulse how to make it set b p3.3 and obviously you know that uh, the minimum dis uh, time of delay in 805 is 1.085 microseconds but how much delay i require here for enable 450 nanoseconds so therefore one byte instruction is enough that itself will give you the required 450 nanoseconds so immediate in the next line i have cleared that pin clear p3.3 i think everybody have understood what all we have spoken the same thing i am writing in a program format and then the subroutine should have a return return so command is the starting of the subroutine and this subroutine is terminated by instruction called as return so for every command you write for every command you write your program is coming back here it is doing the job going back to next command reading the command doing this job and going back to the next command to read this is a repetitive process which is happening so once you finish the command then we have seen that we have started displaying the characters okay and i have called there a subroutine program called as disp now let us understand now what disp is going to do for us so in the disp you can observe move p2 comma a because we are having same uh, data channels it may be command or it may be data the data lines they remain the same that is connected to port 2 so therefore move p2 comma a which has been done next set b p3.5 now can observe there earlier we had a clear p3.5 now i am doing here set b the reason because now it is data so for data rs has to be 1 therefore i have made p3.5 enabled or it is set to 1 similarly clear p3.4 which is nothing but rw rw has to be 0 so i have cleared it then i have to make enable 1 and 0 so therefore i have to do it set b p3.3 and then clear p3.3 so make that change set b p3.3 and then clear p3.3 and return and return are you getting this point if you do this then what will happen it will copy the character send it to p2 send to lcd and already have said the command to lcd that your lcd should be cursor on okay and blinking should be off it should be moving to the right side so every character you send it will copy that character and it will send it to the next position next position next position like that and therefore you are able to display a word called as hello i think everybody have understood how we have written program for this lcd using assembly level programs assembly level programs so shall we go to the next one okay if you have understood this let us focus on the next one I want to write a LCD interfacing program once again, but using C level language. C language I want to make use. Okay, and my job is to send here letters. 
M D E. You can transfer any letters, but uh, for uh, example, I have taken this letters to be transferred as M D E to the L C D using the busy flag method. Using the busy flag method. Oh, now, what is busy flag here? Okay, uh, whenever I send a data to L C D, I should check whether there is some content available previously on L C D. If it is not, then I should be sending a next data. That is called as busy flag. Okay, so monitor. Check whether the display is busy. If it is busy, you cannot send data. If it says that I am free, then sending a data. This is called as busy flag method. Okay, so let us uh, focus on the programming concepts using C level language. Okay, the first line as it is hash include reg fifty one dot h. Next one, SFR. SFR is a data type. Please remember this. We are focused on uh, the data types used in C language. In that one SFR is one of the data type which is used. Which is specially meant for addressing the SFR registers, okay? And you can observe L data is a variable name is equal to zero x nine zero. Now what is zero x nine zero? Is port one address of port one. Therefore, my data type is SFR because I am referring to SFR register. Port one is SFR register. And why I've used here port one? Because port one is used as data line. Eight bit data are from port one here. So therefore, P1 is initialized using SFR. Similarly, I have RS, RW enabled, and one more is added BZ. So how to initialize them using a data type? What is the data type used here? Is S bit, S bit. Getting this point? S bit. RS is a variable name, okay, which will represent me RS actual RS pin. 2.0 is connected as RS. RW 2.1. Enable is 2.2. BZ is 1.7. I am using 1.7 as my the enable line uh, for this uh, for BZ pin. I hope so. People have understood this. Okay. Now you may ask me a question here. I think uh, that you may be having a doubt. So previously in assembly we had port three, and there had port two. Here I am having different. It is obviously based upon your hardware interconnection. So from the hardware, suppose you are using port one for data lines. In the software code also, I should program for port one. If I am writing the programs uh, for RS RW enable, okay, obviously it should match with my hardware interconnection also. Therefore, when we do live projects, simply taking a code from somebody, copying it and just dumping to eight zero five one and seeing that my program is not running, my hardware is not responding. Obviously, the meaning is that. The choice between hardware and software is not matching. Whatever you have done, programming should match with your hardware interconnections also. If there is no connection for that pin itself, sending something on software will not work. Are we getting this point? So in the hardware, whatever interconnections you have done, same should be enabled in the programs. Same line, same port should be used for programs also. This is a tip for your mini project. Okay. So let us focus on the continuation of this called a void main. Now, what void main is going to do for us? It is a simply a main function. Now, what are the steps that we follow for LCDs? First one, don't forget initialization. So first to do initialization, I am using a function. What is the function name here? Is LCD CMD is a command. LCD command is a function. I will define this function in the next slides. Hope you are getting this. LCD command is a function. Which I'm going to use it in the next line. I'll be calling it as in the next. Okay. So LCD command zero x three eight. LCD command zero x zero e. I think everybody now knows it. Zero x three eight. Two line matrix. Correct. Zero e display on cursor blinking. Zero one clear display screen. Zero six cursor shift to the right positions. And eighty six is nothing but line one. Okay, and the position six. This is what it has to happen. Okay, next, what is the data that you want to send? LCD data. Okay, next function is LCD data M, LCD data D, and LCD data E. Please make that correction. Okay, instead of CMD, it should be LCD data. Okay, LCD data M, LCD data D, LCD data E. Now let us go to the next slide, which is of more important for us. LCD command. So now I'm going to define the LCD command function. So void LCD command unsigned character value. Value is the name of a variable used in the function, and it belongs to what unsigned character. This is a data type. 
in that i'm going to call a function called as lcd ready i'm going to call a function called as lcd ready to check the busy flag of lcd so before i send any data any command i should verify whether the lcd is busy or not for that i use this lcd ready function which i define you in the later slide first i'll focus to the next important part of this first of all what i'll do l data is equal to value i think l data you already know where it was defined in the previous slide you can observe that l data was defined on port 1 so whatever you have defined on port 1 okay that is l data there i have to place this value which i have sent in the command so in the command which all i am sending like 38 0 e 0 1 0 6 86 these will become value when you go to command function these become the value and those values are sent to port like how we have done in assembly same thing i am doing it here also so l data is equal to value so put the first command on port 2 right next rs is equal to 0 so for sending command rs has to be 0 next rw has to be 0 then how to make enable we need to create a 450 nanosecond delay initially 1 then it should be 0 so therefore i make en equal to 1 and then i will call a delay function delay function is ms delay 1 how to create delay here ms delay 1 is a delay function used then after creating the delay function enable is made 0 and return return from the function will go to the next line from where it was called this is about lcd command function okay i hope so if you have understood assembly program almost in line is our c level program okay so let us go to the next one next one is about your lcd data next one is about lcd data so lcd data unsigned character value okay so after command whatever we see in that was lcd data okay so unsigned character value so m d e they become a value here now for us so before i send a data i should check for whether lcd is busy so i call a function lcd ready function command also i did the same thing here also i'm doing the same thing lcd ready function i'm going to call it but i will not define it here in this slide i will define it in the next slide okay just now i'll focus it on uh, the lcd data function so rs equal to 1 there i had 0 for command now i'm making it 1 rw is equal to 0 enable is 1 call a delay function ms delay 1 then make enable 0 and return so lcd data and lcd command they almost do the same job am i right but there is slight difference what is the difference rs is 1 there rs is 0 rest all is as it is code line everything is as it is hope so people have understood now what is the remaining factors lcd ready function and ms delay function that is in the next slide so let us focus the first one lcd ready how do we check this lcd ready function whenever this function is called the program will jump here now what it does first it will make busy flag as one this is one of the busy input pin which is used for lcd which is connected already in the hardware so we are verifying that particular pin whether it is one we are assigning it to become one and then i make rs equal to zero okay rs is zero nothing but what command okay then rw is equal to one i am asking whether the busy flag is one okay so while busy is equal to one till then okay you have to wait it has to be get enabled so busy pin should be one till then you have to wait for here then enable is made zero stroke the enable pin stroke the enable pin and then call a delay function now call a delay function okay so call a delay ms delay of one enable is one okay next void lcd it is now lcd data which is defined but, but please make a correction here that it is a void ms delay function okay it is a void ms delay function please change this change this why because already lcd data is already defined okay so nothing to do here void ms delay this is ms delay function for us unsigned int i type now how do we create delays unsigned int i comma j i use a loop for i is equal to zero i less than i time i plus plus okay and nesting of for loop for j is zero j less than 1 to 7 pi j plus plus it obviously means that when i is zero the j equal to zero function will execute for 1275 times when i becomes one again 1275 times i is equal to 2 1275 times until i time 
until i time this will execute so this will create almost a delay of 1 millisecond 1275 the meaning is that the delay is of 1 milliseconds and because i time value is passed as 1 because in ms delay i have passed logic i have passed number as 1 so i time will be replaced by 1 therefore this loop will execute for 1275 times getting my point so total delay created is 1 milliseconds 1 millisecond this is the delay being calculated over there so therefore through this programming we can easily enable and disable the various flags available in 8051 and this is how a program is written for using the simple assembly level programs also and also by using the very simple uh, C level programs also as it is. I think everybody have now understood how to write programs using assembly, how to write programs using C language also. So if you have got any doubts, any difficulties definitely we can go through this. I kindly make uh, some corrections which have been suggested uh, while explaining the program okay and if for any difficulties you can directly contact me for understanding these course also thank you everybody for uh, listening to this uh, lecture series I, I hope so that everybody have understood and uh, you people will definitely go through this and try to understand them once again i thank you for attending to this uh, lecture series once again thank you thank you one and all